So the third way that you can make your lead magnets more specific is to offer a specific shortcut. So what I mean when I say this are lists and handouts. Lists and handouts, and I'm going to show you some examples, are one of the best types of lead magnets that you can run. In fact, um, they're probably my favorite, second being the case study, which I showed you in the previous video. Uh, but I love it because they're inherently specific. When you give somebody a specific list of things, like my buddy Clay Collins did over at Lead Pages, you know, he, he said that one of their highest performing lead magnets was this one right here, the Internet Business Toolkit. Now, had he just called it the Internet Business Toolkit, that wouldn't have been very compelling, but he said it's a comprehensive list of every tool, software, and utility that they use to run their business. So what are you getting? You're getting a shortcut. Gosh, I'd love to know all the tools. I'd love to know the software and the utilities that you use to run your business. Great. That's a specific list. One of our most popular blog posts and something that we've used as a lead magnet in the past here at Digital Marketer is a list of all the tools and the resources that we use to run this place right here our video recording studio. People ask, what do you use? So we say, you know, this is our, the camera that we're using. This is the teleprompter. This is how it's set up, right? It's a list. It's simply a list of the things. It's an inventory of what we do. Lists are awesome. They're amazingly effective. So are handouts and, and flow charts and things like this. When you say to somebody like, you know, we had over here free my complete blueprint for importing from China. People look at that and they say, Okay, I don't understand what the heck is going on, but it's a shortcut, right? When you give somebody a cheat sheet, when you give them a handout, it's a shortcut. Now, typically when you do these, they're going to be accompanied by um, video tutorials and things like that that are going to explain what all of this stuff means. But just giving them this particular handout, this particular cheat sheet is very appealing because again, it's a shortcut and that's what all of us want. We want that shortcut. Uh, another example, again, that we used here at Digital Marketer is the ultimate social media swipe file. The ultimate social media swipe file. So what is a swipe file? A swipe, a swipe file is simply a list of examples. Copy and paste the 72 proven headline formulas to get more clicks from Facebook, uh, uh, Twitter, and your own blog. So we're basically just giving them some headline templates, a list of 72 headline templates. That's it. That's what a swipe file is. It is simply a list, but the reason that it works is because of the specificity and the fact that when you see a list, you're okay, great. That's a shortcut. Um, I want to show you an example going back again to our friends at HubSpot. And I alluded to this in one of the opening videos. They were kind enough back at the end of 2013 to publish their most popular content. So this is a little bit outdated, obviously it's a few years old, but the point is still very, very, very relevant. So they put out there and they said, hey, of everything that we put out, of all the lead magnets that we produced here at HubSpot, and they produce a lot of lead magnets, dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of lead magnets, they said, um, these were the ones that are, you know, these were our top five, right? These were these were basically our, uh, our top five. And so, I kind of, I'm zooming in a little bit. These are the, the top two and the bottom two. So just for the sake of space, I kind of cut out the, the middle one that was the third. But check this out. Look at the ones that were at the top. Uh, so this one, the one that got the most downloads, 114,000 downloads. So this one lead magnet generated 114,000 leads compared to their bottom one, the, the number five on their list. And so Presumably, the ones that were below that generated less than this was down to 7,855, okay? So 114,000 versus 7,855. That's the gap between number one and number five in performance from HubSpot. And again, this is data that they published, all right? So I'm not revealing anything that, that isn't already public information. So let's take a look at these. There's obviously a lot that we can learn from this. Check out the top one. Look at what it is. Free templates five infographic templates in PowerPoint. So what is a template? A template is a shortcut, right? Just like the example that I showed you before um, of our social media swipe file, templates are a shortcut. Well, let's look at number two, which is responsible for 82,000 leads, this particular lead magnet. Um, free ebook, 53 examples of brilliant homepage design, 53 examples of brilliant homepage design. So what was this ebook? It was simply a list. It was a bunch of screenshots. It was what we would call a swipe file, right? It was a list of beautiful homepages, 53 of them to be exact, not too dissimilar from the one that we deployed 
uh, with our ultimate social media swipe file. That one's responsible for 82,000. Now let's look at the ones on the bottom, right? Let's look at the ones at the bottom. So number four, which generated 16,000 downloads, still not bad, right? 16,000 leads is pretty solid, but compared to 82,000 and 114,000, you know, it's, it's not even close. So here we go at 16,000, you've got how to use landing pages for business. That's our good friend, how to use landing pages for business. There's nothing structurally horrible about this. And if you're really interested in, in using landing pages and you have a business, then, then I guess it's okay. But you can see just from a pure sexiness factor, right? Do you want 53 examples of brilliant homepage design? I mean, that's a clear, coherent shortcut. Or do you want to know how to use landing pages for business? Right? Uh, I think far more effective than how to use landing pages for business would be 53 examples of high converting landing pages that'll work for any business. It could be basically the exact same thing. You could give an introductory, still have all the same content that's in there, still explain everything. You're just emphasizing the shortcut. Nobody's going to complain when they get in and they see, oh, there's the examples that I promised. And then if there's an extra report, if there's some extra information, if there's an extra video, nobody's going to complain about that. That's a benefit. Right? You're giving them more than what you promised. I'm simply suggesting that you emphasize what people actually want, which are shortcuts and examples. So that's how I'd bump that one. Right? I would bump that one by basically making it look a whole lot more like this one. Giving more examples of landing pages and not just a general overview of what a landing page is. Now let's look at the bottom one. 7,855 downloads. Look at it. Free guide. The anatomy of a five-star email the anatomy of a five star email. When I saw that, I thought to myself, that is their version of growing up the ins and outs of up and down gardening. Because what is a five star email? Like and nobody wakes up saying, gosh, I, I wish I could, if only I could send more five star emails because that's not a thing, right? There, there's nobody out there giving stars for your emails. It's not a thing. Therefore, it, they're trying to start a new conversation. It's not entering into the conversation that is already going on in people's minds. So let's dig in a little bit deeper. The anatomy of a five-star email. Learn the 12 components of a five-star email. Okay, there's 12 components. I guess that's getting a little more specific. Um, in this download, you'll also find a one-page printout that you can reference when you craft your emails. Wait, what's this one-page printout? A one-page printout that you can reference when you craft your emails. It sounds to me like they've got a pretty cool cheat sheet on crafting the perfect email. And if that's what it was, if it was the ultimate cheat sheet uh, for crafting the perfect email that gets more opens, uh, clicks, and sales, now you got something that's specific. Oh, a cheat sheet? Great. I got to use this, deploy it. Awesome. I know exactly what's going on. So without changing anything, without changing any of the content, just altering the promise and making it a little more specific, giving a more specific shortcut and emphasizing the shortcut that's already there. I know just that in and of itself will give the land, will give this particular lead magnet a nice boost in conversion. So if you have a lead magnet, whether it's a video case study or a report or a white paper, don't get stuck on the medium. The medium is largely irrelevant. Look at your promise. What's the promise that you're making? Do you have a really great shortcut buried inside your lead magnet that you're not emphasizing? Emphasize it. Bring it to the front. Pull that up there and then have everything else be a supplement guide to the thing that they actually want. That in and of itself can get you a whole lot more leads and, and get you a far greater optimized lead magnet. So hopefully you found that helpful.